Hi there. Uh, how's it going? First off, I forgot my audio device, so I hope you're okay with this having terrible audio. Um, it's it's a Vernio thing, so there's a certain level of expectation that you sh all should have of the production quality of this, which is none <laughs> production quality. So um, you're probably okay with this having crappy audio. Um, so I'm in Helper, Utah right now. Um, seems like a nice little place. I'm here with my dog. Um, this is her leash. Um, she'll bump the tripod at some point real soon. Um, I, uh, due to, I won't get too into it, but due to some like family stuff, uh, my wife and the dog and I had to take a last minute trip to, uh, Missouri and, uh, Lights are really expensive, and uh, boarding a dog was going to be really expensive, so we drove. Um, and my wife, um, she contributes to society, uh, and she has a job, so she had to go back to that. So she flew from Missouri back to uh, her job, uh, and I've been left to drive the car and the dog back to Washington State, where I live now. So. Uh, that's why I'm in Utah right now. Apart from the fact that like, Utah is my favorite place in the world and it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful state. Um, I'm in this random like little trail here along Helper because um, all like the big, like I'd made like a list, a mental list of like the, the trails I wanted to hit and the state parks I wanted to hit on my way back to Washington. Um, but I found out that a lot of these parks don't allow dogs which makes sense why would you want animals in nature um so i've been kind of taking like the other trails and like the back road trails and stuff like this which is why i'm like in helper utah on this little thing there's a nice little creek and there's some bridges that my dog is too afraid to cross um i'll show you those uh here in a little bit um so with all that out of the way, here's some more uh, forward for you. Um, uh, I'm doing this because a long time ago, uh, I made a, a long, like, super long video about um, the state of pet turtles uh, and where it was. And it was me, like, about to cry for 40 minutes just talking about a movie that I wanted to make. Um, and as I said in that video, that four people watched. Um, I did that because A, to, like, to help me, because um, that's what's most important. Uh, but B, um, just because like listening to someone, like listening to people talk about things that they made or wanted to make um, was really inspiring to me and I really enjoyed it. Um, and so I want to do something like that. And I don't know, it's, I just felt like it's time for another one of those. I just thought like one of those could be good. Um, so here I am. I keep looking over my shoulder because I have a hard time seeing like what's in the uh, what's in the viewfinder thing. Not the viewfinder, you know, the little screen, the output. Um, and I get very, very, very embarrassed about talking to a camera in the middle of nowhere. So I keep looking over my shoulder to see like if I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just thought I would take a chance here uh, to talk about pet turtles, um, if you're okay with that. And just my life in general, it kind of goes hand in hand, like <laughs> my life has kind of become the movie, um, and, and, and in the sense that like it's all I do is like think about it and like edit it and work on it and all this stuff. I say edit it because there's a movie to edit now. We shot it. <laughs> it actually happened. That thing that I was talking about for like a year and a half before like anything happened, like it happened. That thing I was like hounding you all for money for, like we spent that money on the movie, <laughs> on making it. It was really great. We started shooting it. Um, ooh, I almost fell. Um, we started shooting it. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving? Uh, I think that's about right. Maybe two days after. Um, 
uh, we start shooting and then we start, we wrapped sometime in December. It's really weird, like, those two dates, like when we started shooting and when we wrapped shooting were like the most important dates in my entire life for a long time there. And I completely, like, couldn't tell you when they were now. Couldn't tell you. Um, but uh, the whole shoot went as good as a shoot with no money <laughs> and hardly any crew. Uh, and that I was leading could go. Um, there's there's a few hiccups, there's a few snafus. Um, uh, first time filmmakers, um, maybe don't shoot in a working like uh, assisted living facility because <laughs> there's a lot of variables you have to work around. Sounds hard. Um, sound and by sounds hard, I mean like sound is hard to get like good sound um shooting at places of businesses when they're open just in general is rough um if you have a movie where um over half of it takes place at a cemetery uh, outside maybe don't film in the cemetery that's really close to the airport because once again sound is really difficult um you know things like that like my uh the the person who i had lined up to cater the movie like she broke her ankle um so that was fun um and i had like a few actors get sick and i had to replace them at the last minute there was one day like the caterer and the actors that all happened like within the same two days so like there was a two-day period there where i was coming undone at the seams apparently uh from what i've talked to with the cast and the crew and the people that were there like they didn't notice it so <laughs> but oh man on the inside it was all just crumbling I was stressing but you know it came along it was really scrappy as I said um, uh, there's like there were some issues with like funding because we didn't have all the funding that we wanted um, and so like near the end of production um, I was having to tighten up my belt a little bit um, but it all came together really well. There's a version of Pet Turtles that exists right now. There's a version of Pet Turtles that like, you can sit down, well not you, not yet, but like me and some of the people that have worked on the movie have been able to sit down and watch together. Um, when I was in Missouri, I watched uh, the movie with Forrest, the guy who shot it, um, and the guy who like, um, God bless him for, but for whatever reason decided to like, go along on this journey with me. Um, but uh, we watched it together and we talked about like what needs to be fixed in editing and what can't be fixed. You know, like, not that there's anything like horribly wrong with it, but like, you know, uh, the biggest thing is my favorite genre of movie is slow and boring, um, but I'm the only person who likes that genre of movie. So like things that feel right to me, like need to be tightened up. <laughs> um, at one point there was this like, a 20 second long shot that was completely unbroken and I thought like absolutely we got to keep it uh, and then I watched it with some people and I saw like them fighting to stay awake and I realized you know maybe 20 seconds uh, is a little much maybe trim that down to like eight um, but there's a there's a version of the movie that exists right now um, the audio for the most part is like rough a lot of times you can't hear what you're supposed to hear and you can hear what you're not supposed to hear. There was one day where uh, just like, as I was talking about, like the cemetery and the airplanes, like that was rough. Um, so there's gonna be some AD, uh, ADR and just a, your, your usual sound work um, that needs to be done. And of course, like the picture needs to be colorized because like sometimes we'd shoot something at like 11:45, and the next thing at like 12 o'clock and uh the sun would be in two different places within that time um and those two things that are happening at 11:45 and at noon are supposed to happen instantaneously like one after another in the movie so like there's some color timing we need to do to make sure that everything like looks like it was shot at the same time uh hello um but apart from that um everything came together real well be nice reagan my dog, uh, Reagan, is super, super friendly, and she just wants to, like, be petted by everyone and be loved on by everyone, and I didn't notice. 
that someone hadn't been walking through. So I'm really embarrassed right now. But I'm gonna keep chugging along, damn it. All right, Reagan. I'll show you my Reagan. I'll show you my Reagan. I'll show you our dog Reagan too here in a little bit. By the way, people always ask. It's Reagan as in R E G A N. Um, we named her after the girl from The Exorcist because like she gets happy and like she smiles and does this like, and it reminded me of The Exorcist. Um, people think they hear, they hear her name's Reagan and they're like, oh, like the president. And no, uh, the joke I always make is she's named Reagan after the demon, not after the devil. Um, <laughs> I just revealed that I'm not a fan of conservatives. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, at least not a fan of Ronald Reagan. Um, but anyway, um, what was I talking about? Like color timing, yes. And visual effects, there's one visual, a visual effects shot that needs to happen uh, to make the movie be all that it can be. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to make the movie um, and editing the best version of itself that it possibly can be. Um, not saying it's bad. I'm super, super, super proud of it. Um, I don't think it happens very off, often, um, especially with first time filmmakers and especially with like filmmakers who don't have a lot of money where they set out with an objective and they set out with a goal and they meet those goals and they meet those objectives. That doesn't happen very often, I don't think, um, in any art form, but especially with film. Um, um, I feel like I set out when writing Pet Turtles, like when the ideas came to me and everything, like reading it on the page, it doesn't feel very ambitious. But like when you're trying to make a movie, you realize like, wow, uh, it still is like making, just making a movie in itself is ambitious. Especially like when you're a nobody and you want a sequence that takes place at a hospital and a sequence that takes place, um, sequences, plural, that takes place at like a cemetery or like a big sequence that takes place at a funeral where all the characters that have been in the movie meet. Like, uh, things you don't think would be like ambitious or hard to do, but are, especially like, you know, like scheduling is just a nightmare no matter what's going on. And like, in real Hollywood movie, um, what you have when you have a scheduling problem is you say, well here, I'll pay you more money to be here instead of where else you have to be. But whenever you're pet turtles and you have no money, <laughs> you just have to say like, all right, cool. Um, we'll work with it. And so there's um, some like road bumps that we hit, but I think we navigated over those road bumps quite nicely. Um, and uh, hopefully, knock on wood and i'm sitting on a wooden log thing right now um any kind of mistakes that have happened or any kind of things that like we didn't plan for but happened anyway you wouldn't notice <laughs> hopefully it all just seems like part of the big pet turtles pie uh it doesn't sound very great um but yeah i'm super happy with it even in its rough state even in the state where like the sound's not great and the color's not timed there's no visual effects and it's still like needs tightening in some spots because of this runtime like even with that all that like I'm still really happy with how it came out I'm really happy with um, just with the movie um, it's really weird watching a movie um, and looking at it um, and knowing that like the reason that actor is talking to that actor and the reason that actor is saying what he's saying, and the reason that actor is responding the way he's saying, and the reason this conversation is happening between these two people in this room is all because of you. It's a really surreal experience. Um, it's really just crazy. Like, I watch a lot of movies and I, like, I look at them with like, oh, I wonder how they did that, or I wonder how they got this. Um, and it's weird watching a movie knowing exactly all those answers to all those questions that you might have. And knowing that like, you're responsible for it, warts and all. It's a really surreal experience, but it's, um, um, and it's one that I'm still like, coming, coming around on, but uh, still like an enjoyable experience. Um, as I said, um, needs a little bit of rough, uh, needs a little bit of uh, work to fix the rough edges um, so it's the best version of itself that it can be um, so that you guys can watch it. Hopefully soon, I don't want to put any kind of date on it because I remember at one point, like I said, like we'll start shooting pet turtles in March of 20, 
uh, 17 and that didn't happen. Um, uh, you know, there's like three puffin shows that I did where I'm like, we're gonna shoot any time now. <laughs> and it didn't happen. Um, for the best. Not shooting pet turtles when we wanted to originally worked for the better of the movie, I think. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, there's still some work to like make it the best version of itself that it can be. Um, and it's, it's hard, um, because like for so long, all I wanted to do was make this movie. And it was just like a struggle just to like, there was times where we didn't have locations. There was times where we didn't have actors. Um, and now like we've got a movie to edit and it's like, it's that like, it's that like, it's kind of like that feeling like when you get done mowing the lawn. Like you mow the lawn and you've got a big yard and you mow the lawn and you're done mowing and then you just like sit back and you're like, ah, I need a weed to eat now. <laughs> and you already feel like, ah, but I mowed, I did all this. Um, and it's just this weird like, cause sometimes like you get a big lawn and you're really tired from mowing it and you uh, like, I gotta put the mower up and get the weed eater out and then I've got to gas up the weed, you know, all this stuff. Like, it's that like, a million times more um but it's worth work it's work worth doing um and as i said like i'm super super happy with it um and uh the thing with like making art is you can put so much time into something you can put so much time and effort into something and it still come out bad <laughs> like you can like practice like playing baseball and over time get better at it and eventually become really good at baseball um but you can put as much time and effort as you would at like learning a sport into trying to make a movie and the movie can still turn out bad <laughs> uh the room had six million dollars attached to it and they shot like they had sets and they shot for like an extensive period of time and it came out as the room like i love the room but you know what i'm saying um so like it's really like, it feels good to like, have put forth all that effort um, and all that time and the movie still come out like, good. <laughs> Cause it could have came out really bad. Um, I don't think it's for everybody. You know, this is not, uh, it's not Black Panther. It's not Civil War. Um, it's not um, Infinity War. That's, it's, it's, Civil War is the old one. Um, it's not any of those. Um, but um, I think that the people that this movie's kind of for will be really into this movie. Um, so yeah, um, all that just like inspires me to keep working on it and to keep editing and to keep like, to get the sound done on it and to keep pushing forward with it. Cause as I said, I want to be the best version of itself that it can be. Um, so I've been working on it. I've been sending work in progress versions of the movie to festivals. Um, the whole idea being just like, you know, like if a tree falls in the woods um, and it doesn't, doesn't make a sound, kind of that thing. Like if there's a movie made but no one to watch it, the movie get made. Um, I just want to get the movie as fr in front of as many people as I possibly can. Um, and the big reason for that is because everyone worked on it so hard. Like Forrest worked on it so hard. Larry worked on it so hard. Larissa, Kevin, Taylor. It's ever there's too many people to name. Um, like everyone worked on it so hard, and it's like it's my duty um, to get the movie in as front of many people as I possibly can, so that their work doesn't go unnoticed. Um, so that someone can see the movie and like, wow, this movie looks beautiful. I want Forrest to shoot my thing, or like, oh my gosh, uh, Larry's so great. I want him to act in this. You know, I just I I want the people that worked on this to benefit from working on it because you know in a lot of a lot of places like I couldn't pay them or if I paid them it was like nothing hard like you know it was like table scraps and so like you know I, I just I want it to be as beneficial of an experience to them as possible and the best way to do that is by getting it in front of people um, to watch it and so that's why I'm sending it to festivals um, obviously like I've got big ambitions for this movie. I would love it to be like, have a theatrical run. I'd love it to be on a streaming service. Um, but even if it doesn't happen, even if that doesn't happen, like you're still gonna see this movie. You know, if I have to sell it out of my 
you know, out of my, my trunk, I'll do it. Um, so there will be a time at some point in the near future where you can see this movie. Um, I just don't know when it is yet. Um, but um, with, I found that like, you know, I wanted to make this movie for so, 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 so long. Um, and whenever I, I finally got to, um, and I'm so happy that I, I got to. And it was a situation where like, a good thing came to a person who waited. Um, so like, those of, those of you out there who wanna see the movie, like, I think this is a good thing. So like, please keep waiting. <laughs> uh, it's, I think it's gonna be worth it. I hope that you'll find it worth it. I found it worth it thus far. And the handful of people that have seen it, even in its rough, like bare bones version of itself, um, have found it worth the wait and are excited about like what will happen next with it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I made a movie um, with, I didn't make a movie myself and some very talented, hardworking, passionate, um, incredible people made a movie. Um, and at some point in the near future, you'll get to watch it. And God's excited about it too. Um, so that's what's going on. Um, uh, stay tuned for next time. I'll do another one of these at some point. Um, I hope you enjoy it. But, uh, I'll talk to you later and you guys have a great one. Um, as soon as I was getting ready to wrap that up, um, the guy came back around and I got all nervous and like sheepish again. I was like, ah. Movie is gonna happen. You're gonna watch it, I promise. It's gonna be worth it. I wholeheartedly believe that. And I'm not just saying that because it's the movie that I wanted to make. I, I think it's, there's something there. I'll shut, the, I'll shut up now. You wanna see my dog? This is my dog. Hi, Reagan. Oh, baby!